The Confidence Man JP episode of the hero is the threequel of a Japanese movie series. This series actually started from a TV mini series in 2018, The Confidence Man JP. Then, in 2019, the first movie of this series was made, The Confidence Man JP the movie. Just one year later, a sequel was made, The Confidence Man JP Princess. And then in 2022, now we have the sequel coming out. I started knowing this series from the first movie of it in 2019, and started following it since then. Because its story is always full of suspense, deduction, twists, surprises, heartwarming moments, and the Japanese-style comedy elements with the unique Japanese performance style. I mean, heaps, heaps of exaggeration of body language. So, right away after watching the first movie of it, I was converted to a fan. Because it is just so good as an entertaining show on a relaxed weekend night, I feel exactly the same for the first two movies in the series. So I am very excited knowing the three core is coming out and hold very high expectation of it. But I have to say I was a bit disappointed after watching this three core. Giving it a bit time for thinking why I feel that way. I realized that I was feeling disappointed not because the production or performance are not as good as before. This movie still has all the same elements that I like in the first two movies, and the quality of the production is not bad as well. However, the problem shows itself here: the same elements as before. Especially the story is developed in exact the same manner as it was in the first two, so the freshness of this movie series is gone in the wind for me. You would probably argue that we could watch James Bond movies for another decade before getting tired of it, but don't forget, every movie selling point is different. Some selling points can be repeated, but this movie series' biggest selling point is its story with surprises. If I could predict every next move of the characters in this movie, that surprise element is not existing anymore for me. Even though other elements in this movie are still lovely to have, but I just feel not enough. Having said that, I still love the casting in this movie. Especially the actress Masami Nagasawa. I also still enjoy the technical aspect of the production. I personally think the director of photography is really doing a good job here. We have a lot of picturesque landscaping shots in the movie, so I guess it's still a movie worth more than seven out of ten if you are the audience who just start watching this movie series. Because after all, it's still holding its production quality level as the previous two movies in the series, if not better. At the end of this movie, it seems like it is already paving its way for the next one. I'd really like to watch the next movie in this series, and let's just hope the scriptwriters can break its classic story development pattern here and give us some surprises back. That's all I have for the Confidence Man JP episode of the Hero today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next Rue episode.